updates on all the biggest stories and cartoons from around Kentucky and around the world with the LEX 18 News app. And you can live stream our newscast right to your phone with that free app. Now here's a look at what's ahead on LEX 18 News at 6. Camera on LEX 18 News. A serial killer responsible for at least 37 murders, including several in Kentucky, dies after a brutal prison beat. Officers honor their colleague who was killed in the line of duty, while people in Georgetown honor the same man who they knew as a brother. And state investigators are trying to find out more about what killed a mine worker in Whitley County. LEX 18 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us at 6. Some severe weather could come through central Kentucky tonight. Tiffany Rollins Rollins is going next track into what's on the way. Just going to track the forecast. There is potential tonight for some strong or even severe thunderstorms. This is going to be during the middle latter part of the evening and then into the hours after midnight. Our threat index is at 1. That means scattered potential for severe storms. I do expect to see a squall line form that will come through. There may be isolated severe damage reports. With that, damage will be the primary severe weather threat as that squall line marches its way eastward. From the folks at the Storm Prediction Center, slight risk of severe storms for everyone. Enhanced is to our northwest, I-71 and north and west up into well, Ohio and Indiana. On the Max Track Live Doppler, still a batch of thunderstorms sitting out here in southern Indiana. We've been watching that pop up there in Taylor County over the last little bit. And this literally has popped up over about the last 20 minutes or so, now moving into uh, areas to the west, excuse me, east of Campbellsville. And over the last hour, again, from nothing at 5.30 to an isolated shower, again, there's not much to it yet. Future track, we continue toward 9 o'clock. A few more isolated storms develop ahead of the main squall line, which should move through then in the hours, say around midnight or so. And again, damage and wind gust potential will exist with that in the early morning hours. We're going to talk about that and changes to our weather as we head toward the weekend. Comes up for you in a couple of minutes. All right, we'll see you then.